Hi, welcome to another Woo Wednesday. I'm Little Woo, and I'm here to address another life question I received. This week's question is how to have compassion for coworkers, especially when you um, need to be around them, but you feel that you're reacting neg- neg- negatively to them. I want to answer that. So thank you so much to my friend for asking me that question. Because this week I want to focus on how to have a more compassionate perspective. We all have places in our lives where we tend to get really triggered and we close up to people and our hearts shut down. And it's really hard not to look at people defensively or uh, offensively. So how do we change a perspective from being defensive or uncomfortable or just full of judgment to actually creating a space where something better can happen. Um, I, I started off with a video last week that was about my 11 year anniversary of uh, starting a new life. And that new life took many, many years to create, but it was about a change in perspective. So the change in perspective I had was going from this kind of fuck you world attitude to I love you world. And that is not a just false optimism, but it's actually a, a process of learning to fall in love with people because you start to understand why they do the things they do. Instead of being really upset at that, you start to actually have more compassion once you hear the story. Because behind every story is actually a better story, a more loving story. And that's the closer you are to the truth, the more compassion you always have. And for me, uh, how I get a compassion uh, is to have better understanding of others. So if you're checking in this feed, the question was how to have compassion for coworkers whom we need to be around but often react negatively to. And my response is to practice understanding your coworkers. So finding opportunities to create spaces where they can actually give you uh, how they really feel and you have them feel safe expressing that to you and that you are creating that um, as part of the, the, the work culture. Um, so if even you're doing it by yourself, it starts to spread because having a person who's really interested in what you have to say and how you're feeling without needing for their view to be understood or heard at that point is very powerful and it's really hard to do because we all want to be understood. We all want to be heard. So when we feel like someone's against us or someone's really difficult to be around, we just shut down and um, we're more interested in being heard or understood ourselves. So for those who are finding themselves working with coworkers that are difficult to be around, try to understand them better because maybe that will help them open up and help them work through something that's um, causing that kind of behavior. Um, So it doesn't matter what kind of behavior it is. If you try to understand them better, it can usually bring out some opportunities for for transformation. Um, So instead of trying to figure out um, how to fix it, just try to figure out what they're feeling and try to understand how they're feeling. If you can at least get to that first point, so whatever you're dealing with at work, just try to understand how your colleagues are feeling and not try to fix it yet. Don't go to there right away because fixing often immediately takes it out of the the realm of understanding um, before they have even a chance to really express themselves. Um, They're already uh, feeling like you're trying to fix them or trying to stop them or that you haven't really understood it before you're trying to help. So that, that's um, a little nugget. Without knowing the specifics of the situation, I can only talk in generalities, but that generally is a helpful thing to do.